Good day there, Binghamton. How you doing? It's me, the Cowboys fan, Dan Conti, coming back at you for week 14 of the NFL. I'm back after a two-week layoff. I had a nice Thanksgiving break. Hope you all did, too. In those two weeks, uh, my Cowboys have spanked AFC West rivals, the Raiders and the Chiefs, in that order. And speaking of the Raiders, my guest this week is Greg Partlow, who is a Raiders fan. Why don't you say hi to everyone out there, Greg? As my good friend Dan here mentioned, I am an Oakland Raiders fan, and we shall see you in the Super Bowl come well, January. Well, 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 Greg, with some interesting ideas, we'll get that into later. But right now, the Raiders are uh, looking to, uh, to secure a wild card spot. Uh, they got a big matchup with the Chiefs coming up this week. And as we take a look, if the season ended today here in the AFC, you can see Kansas City and Pittsburgh, they would uh, own a home, uh, home field in the first round with Kansas City having home field advantage throughout the playoffs. And our first round playoff games, the Buffalo Bills, who currently lead the AFC East, would be hosting their AFC East rivals, the Miami Dolphins, who would back in in a tiebreaker at 6-6. Six and six. And the other wild card team would feature none other than Greg's Raiders hosting the Indianapolis Colts. Now, if we take a look in the NFC, uh, big surprise here, uh, Dallas and San Francisco would uh, own first round buys with Dallas having home field advantage throughout the playoffs. And in the uh, first round playoff games, the Green Bay Packers, who are coming on real strong lately, they would be hosting their uh, Central Division rivals, the Chicago Bears, in the first round. And the other wild card game would feature surprising Philadelphia hosting equally surprising Atlanta. But uh, we got four games coming left, uh, coming down the uh, stretch here. And uh, who, who, what are you looking for as far as who's going to get in the playoffs and whatnot? Well, the AFC looks miserable. We have Buffalo, Pittsburgh, and probably Kansas City taking their divisions. Oakland with a definite wild card. And it looks like the Colts and maybe Miami will squeak, squeak in with the other two. Yeah, well, hopefully, well, Miami, they're on a downslide. Uh, that's pretty much one of the uh, only predictions I've gotten right this year. Uh, some of my predictions have not gone uh, my way, as many of you have been watching the show all semester know. My Cleveland Browns, my AFC pick for the Super Bowl, are sitting at 4-8. and eight, And uh, one of the few teams that are probably mathematically eliminated from the playoffs already. And, of course, we all know what happened uh, with the Cowboys and 49ers. But that's all right. I said earlier in the year that Miami was not all that. And all Miami fans were talking to me, saying, hey, they're going to Super Bowl. They're the best team in the AFC. Well, they're 6-6. Six and six, and They're not looking too pretty right now. But anyway, let's talk about this week. Got some really big games coming up this week between playoff contenders. But as always, we're going to start off with the Dallas Cowboys. They're hosting the Washington Redskins, who actually beat the Cowboys uh, way back at the beginning of the season. Uh, Troy Aikman went out with an injury in that game, but uh, he should be back for this week. Emmett Smith, who is day to day with his knee injury, um, might not play. I really don't think he should play, but what do you think about this game, Greg? Yeah. Washington is going to get crushed. Really? It's not even going to be funny. It's not going to be funny? But well, it might be funny, though. I mean, what if it's, say, you know, 31-3 at halftime? That's pretty humorous. <laughs> not to Washington fans. That's true. Well, speaking of humorous, I believe Leon Lett comes back for this game. Of course, Leon Lett's responsible for, for some three funny plays himself, some bloopers in the Super Bowl and Thanksgiving uh, against Miami a couple of uh, years ago. But Dallas is pretty much riding out the stretch now. Uh, the, if they win three out of their last four, they uh, should pretty much wrap up home field advantage throughout the playoffs. So we're looking for that. But uh, we're not worried about the Cowboys right now because we know they're in the playoffs. Uh, big game, Miami and Atlanta. This is a big game for both teams. Miami, if they don't win, uh, they can pack it in. Uh, in my opinion, Don Shula should be fired at the end of this season. Wayne Huizenga ought to bring in Jimmy Johnson because the current Miami Dolphins system is not going anywhere. They can't establish superiority. They can't beat the teams they should. But uh, they got to go into the Georgia Dome, beat the Falcons, who were 7-5. And, and had they not lost last week, would have been tied for the NFC West lead with the 49ers. But uh, any hopes of a division title pretty much gone out the window now. But uh, the Atlanta can get a wild card. What do you think about this game? Atlanta's been a big surprise this year. And Miami, basically a big disappointment. So I'd say Atlanta ought to take this one. It'll be close, though. Yeah, it should be a close game. The Atlanta Falcons got that high-powered passing offense led by Jeff George having a pretty good year. But, you know, I can really care less about these teams. But we knew that, didn't we? Because none of these teams will make a difference in January. It's a big game for Miami, though. They need this win. Yeah, Miami really needs this win. And uh, if uh, Greg here, the Raider fan, you, know, you got to get as many AFC teams out as possible. So he'd love to see Miami go down. Oakland's already in. It doesn't matter. Well, Oakland's not already in. They're I just mean, looking to improve their home field advantage. Well, home field advantage in a wild card. 
which isn't going to mean much because that means you got to go play two on the road if you want to get in the Super Bowl. Of course, the Raiders did that 15 years ago, but uh, there's a whole different team now. But didn't we know that, don't you think? How long have you been a Raiders fan for? I, I didn't even establish Probably that. since I was six years old. Six years old. Let me do a quick math nice. on that. That's been a long time. Well, that's good. I respect that. Because a lot of fans these days just get on the bandwagon and go for a ride. They go buy the starter jacket and the hat and they wear it backwards. And they don't even know three players on a team. But I respect Greg. He's been a Raider fan a long time. And I respect myself because I've been a Cowboy fan a long time. But you all knew that. Uh, another interesting game. Cincinnati's at Green Bay. The poor Bengals. They, uh, you know, it hasn't been going their way this year. God knows what could have happened if they had Kajana Carter. Lost too many close games this year. Still have an outside chance to back in of a wild card, but they're going to need a lot of help. Green Bay, on the other hand, been coming on real strong. Brett Favre might be the best quarterback in the league right now. I mean, he's just unbelievable, especially, you see last week against Tampa Bay? No, actually, I didn't. Yeah, well, uh, we don't have the highlights for you, but I mean, Favre was just running around. He's throwing across the field off his back foot, throwing tight spirals. Thread needles for touchdown passes. He just ripped up the Buccaneers last week. Of course, we are talking about Tampa Bay. And anyway, you know, Tampa Bay, yeah, they've had a pretty good year. You know, they're at six and six, which is good for the Buccaneers. The whole division's at like six and six. Yeah, well, that's the way the Central is pretty much every year. But the uh, the Packers, uh, you know, if they keep playing like this, they're going to be a scary team in the playoffs. And you know, usually, I mean, their playoff fate usually is to go into Dallas and get beat. But, you know, how many times can the Cowboys keep beating that team? And they have me a little worried. They should have the 49ers worried. Because, you know, it's, it's as superior as the Cowboys and 49ers are to some historical implications that uh, people got to realize before they just say, you know, it's going to be Dallas and San Francisco on January 14th. Because that would happen. That would be the fourth year in a row that they would meet in a conference championship game. That's never happened before. And, um, you know, can it happen? I don't know. What do you think? What are you looking for in January? Because this is what really, I mean, we're trying to wrap up the semester here, coming down the stretch. We got to start talking about the playoffs. So who do you like in the NFC well, now? Packers are a good team, but they're just not in the league of the 49ers in Dallas. It would be interesting, though, if they were in the AFC, to see if they could take the AFC. They probably could take the AFC, but can Green Bay, is it possible they can go into Dallas or San Francisco in January and come out with an upset of really major don't. proportions? I really don't think so, unless there's some major injuries like Aikman or Smith. Mm, that's true. Yeah, well, excuse me, <laughs> I'm having a little problem here. Uh, Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, Michael Irvin uh, hopefully will be healthy in January and the Cowboys of course have lost once in the last two and a half years when they all are so I'm not too worried about that. Emmitt will get better and I'm not too worried about it. Next game uh, between two disappointing playoff teams from last year Cleveland at San Diego. The Browns were my AFC uh, pick for the Super Bowl early on but uh, they have since dwindled. They of course are moving to Baltimore next year which is a tragedy because, I mean, Cleveland's been involved in the NFL for the last 50 years now, and it's just a shame that, you know, that Cleveland's going to be losing that team. I mean, they might get an expansion team or something, but uh, it's pretty embarrassing that the Browns got to, you know, move Baltimore Browns. I mean, the sound of that. What, it's just not right. Especially as an AFC fan. How does, that, how does that make you feel, you know? Well, I'm not really a Cleveland fan, but Baltimore Browns, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tragedy. Uh, you know, teams are moving around in the NFL. Uh, like water, it seems like. Houston's going to Nashville, I think, next year or a couple of years they should be there. And, you know, well, the Oilers are embarrassing anyway. But this game, Browns and Chargers, I mean, what happened to these teams last year? I mean, the Chargers bounced back last Monday night against the Raiders, but, you know, I mean, they, they, I mean, they got to run the table if they're going to hopefully get in the playoffs, the Chargers. Chargers last year, they never deserved to be in the Super Bowl. They were a joke. They embarrassed the AFC. This year, they're just playing for mediocrity. And, they're doing a pretty good job. That's for sure. Well, the San Diego Chargers, I mean, they're, they're an all right team. I mean, last year they got all the breaks and found themselves in the Super Bowl. But, you know, this year, you know, there's some injuries. Uh, Natron means that's really hurt them. And, you know, everyone's coming. You know, when you're an AFC champion or a conference champion, everybody's going to throw the kitchen sink at you every week, and that's pretty much hit the Chargers hard. But they did bounce back against the Raiders, but they got to run the table if they're going to get in the playoffs. And I don't see that happening.